The largest robot reveal, Premiere Night, is back on Sunday, February 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern. Submissions are due on Friday, February 21st. We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Down here at the Sussex Mini Regional, checking out team number 1792 Roundtable Robotics from Wisconsin. Uh, I'm here with Aaron and Jack. We're going to talk more about this awesome machine here on Behind the Bumpers. Uh, really cool intake. We're going to talk about a neat, interesting strategy they're doing where they can actually swap between two different things. Very uh, hefty gearboxes, uh, and of course, their shooter as well, too. Uh, so, uh, Aaron, I'm going to start off with you talking about uh, on this machine. Let's talk about this intake a little bit, uh, and maybe some of the strategy of going for the low port uh, as well in this year's game. Uh, yes, yeah, so we decided to do an intake that flipped up and down so we could go under the trench. Uh, we have a motor that puts it down at certain points during the match. Our autonomous actually puts it down right away. It intakes from the ground and on top of the lip of the rendezvous point, and it actually sucks them in and then gets them into this hopper system with PVC pipe we have that makes it easy to shoot in the low goal as well. Uh, going up to the low goal, we have set positioning so that we can just spit it right out really fast, and then it goes right into the second area of our robot if we want to do high shooting. So the low shooting looks just like this, but if before the match we decide to do high shooting, we take out these bars, input another shaft right here, and then it travels right into the high shooter. All right, so we're going to go ahead and demo this a little bit as we go through. We'll see if we can get it running. Uh, it's something to mention, you know, of course, with the uh, stop of uh, no more stop build. Teams are going to be in different spots here, but let's take a look at this intake here. So as it goes in, and it's able to fold back, is that correct? Yep. And that is, low, that is the low shooting. So I, I want to talk about uh, strategy-wise on this a little bit. Why? Uh, what was the concept for even saying, hey, I do want to go for the low port? What even interested you that in the first place? Um, so our team decided to weigh the to weigh the consequences of quantity versus quality. We wanted to make sure that we had a low shooter that could put in a, a vast quantity of balls at a very high speed so we could use a spinner tactic, but we also wanted to have the quality of the high shooter point value, So, but we didn't want to have that every single match, and we wanted to be able to flip between it based on the other robot's um, like capabilities. So before the match, we decide which one we want to go for based on the other team's robots. So if we have two um, alliance partners who have high shooters, we decide to go for the low shooter intake. But if we have two alliance partners that do low shooting, we want to go for the high shooter input. And we're going to get to the high shooter in just a moment as well. But something I do want to highlight here, uh, if we can flip this back up, uh, is actually look at these gearboxes. Uh, you know, and sometimes we think gearboxes, you know, they're pretty similar teams, but this is a very uh, beefy gearbox as we go through. Six Neo Drive. Uh, but let's talk about some of the customizations on this. Awesome, yeah. So um, these are custom made gearboxes. Uh, I actually designed them in um, Inventor. So we decided to go with uh, six Neos because I ran the calculations and it just gave us the, um, the best like feet per second. We're running at about 18 feet per second um, is about our fastest speed. But as you can see, we just started out with a simple design and then cut away uh, pockets. So it designs for a kind of light gearbox. But yeah, the Neos definitely uh, help us go a lot faster and they're a lot smaller than Sims. So it makes it very nice. Let's wrap up here and talk about this uh, the hooded shooter on the back here. Uh, and you mentioned about the switching between the strategies. So let's talk about a match where we do want to use the uh, hooded shooter. And uh, talk to me about, you know, it's really low. So it has a low, you know, angle or a wide angle to be shooting from. So talk to me a little about some of the strategy behind that. And of course, wanting to go uh, through the trench run as well, too. Okay, so our high shooter, we decided to only do a one wheel high shooter because we found with encoders, it would be harder to like manipulate the two wheels to spin at the exact same rate and we didn't want to, we wanted to reduce the spin on the ball. So that's why we did the one wheel C channel shooter. We have this hood to adjust the angle and the arc of the ball as it goes up. We usually shoot at about the line, like eight feet back 
from the actual goal. And then we are also, we are programming this to have limelight capabilities. We haven't put that on yet because it is like the first week that we're competing with it, but we should have that on soon. And it just allows us for a lot more capabilities with the shooter. Round table or box, what a cool, interesting machine this has. I like the low profile of it. I love the versatility as well, too. So good luck here in this competition season. Really looking forward to how this robot competes this year. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.